Lots of stony GB fans. Now, here we have the entire, well, for now, complete collection of the uh, Mini Mates versions of the real Ghostbusters. Now, I was never a fan of the Mini Mates. I only started collecting when they released the real Ghostbusters. But I have to say, I am fucking um, shocked at how detailed they are. So let's have a look at each one. Now, here we have uh, Janine. With that uh, Slimer. Well, he's not actually Slimer, he's Egon Slimer. When um, Egon and Slimer swap bodies, he actually has a proton pack as well. Now, what I like about these is that you can actually you can find out what you're missing on the back, which is always good. Now, here we have the Boogeyman, one of my favorite ghosts from the real Ghostbusters. His nose actually sticks out of the fucking <laughs> of the card, which is pretty cool. And an energized terror dog, which is in the show as well. If anybody knows the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, <clears throat> we have Evil Slimer. Now, he's in one of the later episodes where there's a leak in the containment unit and some uh, bad ectoplasm comes down and uh, starts changing Slimer, like kind of like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Ah, the good old Sandman. That was another fucking brilliant episode. Now, here we go. Here's the boys themselves. Now, we got Ray Stance. Now, they come with all the all the accessories, traps, proton streams, PKE meters that you can kind of see there. Fucking, um, I'm very, very amazed by the detail on these things. Like, like I said, I wasn't a fan of them until I had them in my hand, you know? Pretty fucking kill. Now this one has to be my favorite. The old uh, Ghostbusters ghost symbol ghost. Now you only seen this guy in the American TV version because they always have loads of ad breaks. So this guy would come up in the middle of the ad and start trying to cut through the fucking sign and shit. Anybody who has the box set will know what I'm talking about. And uh, Kilowatt as well. Another great episode. Now here we go. Old Sam Hain. Ghost bastards. And the old air. Uh, well they call it the Egyptian ghost, but he was actually called Blackie. So I I don't know why they changed that. I don't see any racism in calling him Blackie because that's his fucking name. So And last but not least, Mr. Tubby Soft Squeeze. With uh, Lewis Tully. Now, I'm surprised that Minimates can make a Lewis Tully. But I know it's the real GB's Lewis Tully, but Mattel can't get the like the rights to Rick Moranis to make Lewis Tully for the old Mattel line. It's a pain in the ass. Right, let's have a look of the uh, four packs. Now, you say, well, why buy the two packs when you can buy the four packs? Well, this is where they're very fucking sly. They actually give you a different version of um, Lewis Tully in his civilian clothes. So, oh, if you want the whole collection, you're going to have to get this one. That's an extra $20, please. You fucking bastards. But, hey, if you're a fan, you're going to pay for it anyway. So, I ain't complaining. Right, there's, there's other things you can spend your money on, but you do what you like. Now, yeah, there's another pack. You get a different Slimer this time. And you get Janine in her, you know, secondary clothes, so... It is worth picking up the four box sets. And now the PS de Resistance. Now, I know how Crafty did a review of this. I'm just going to give you a quick look. That's all. If you want to see the review of this box set, check out Ghostbusters Scotland Review. It's a very good review. And there's a few other things on there. So, thanks for watching, GB fans. And I'll take it easy.